Looking to build off a franchise record from the previous season, the Bonneville Pontiacs kicked off the 2011-2012 campaign with a lot of promise, but then stumbled heading into the playoffs, as Clayton Brown explains. After dropping a hard-fought first-round series, which went the distance against Sherwood Park, the team's season came to a disappointing end. Puck to the front of the net, Bars back in, yeah. up by Tompkins, rebound, they score! Tommy Bars scores for Bonneville! The Pontiacs held a 2-1 series lead and looked poised to move to the second round of the playoffs. But it was not to be, as the team dropped its next two, scoring only one goal. It's definitely a, a tough, tough loss, especially in the first round, and uh, nobody wants to lose out in the first round. So, uh, yeah, it definitely, definitely hurts. We wavered too much. We didn't play at our level that we should have for, you know, full 60 minutes every game, and it cost us like it did in the regular season, too. All season, the team was battling multiple injuries, finally peaking in Game 3 of the playoffs, forcing seven regulars to the sidelines. Chad Mercier says it may have finally caught up to the team. You can handle it over a short period of time, and then all of a sudden, uh, the pressures for those guys to do a little bit more, I think, maybe played a bit of a role, and, and uh, there was a bit of a burnout there, possibly. Eight players will not be returning to the lineup next season. And that means Mercier and the rest of his coaching staff have a lot of work ahead to replace the vacant spots. The next two or three months is a busy time to try and get guys sewn up and, and move forward. And we're going to look at all different avenues as we do every year um, and try to get out in a lot of different places. And for those leaving, it's a tough departure. So I've been very fortunate to spend my whole entire junior career here and uh, I'm going to miss it a lot. It was awesome. I don't regret a single minute of it. You know, it's been the best, best three years of my life. In Bonneville, Clayton Brown, New Cap Sports. Now the Lord Mr. Bobcats and their fans are still feeling the pains of being swept in the first round of the AJHL playoffs. Things will not get any easier in the offseason as it looks like the club will be facing some serious growing pains next year. In three playoff games this year, the Bobcats scored only four goals, a statistic that highlights the club's needs for next season. I don't know. We, uh, we obviously uh, need some scores coming in, um, but I think I can bring the same thing that I brought all year, so uh, scoring basically. But getting scoring will prove difficult. Marcino is the only one of the Bobcats' top eight scorers returning to next year's lineup. In fact, all of the Bobcats potentially returning players account for just 70 of the team's 198 goals. That staggering lack of scoring doesn't have the Bobcats phased, though. We have a huge stable of potential kids. Everyone should be excited for the fact that Lloyd's on the map. We haven't been on the map, guys, for a long time. We're starting to hear from kids we never heard from, even would think of coming to Lloyd. The responsibility of leading the new Cats will fall on the young shoulders of this year's rookies, something Curran thinks his core group is ready for. Uh, you just see too many kids as soon as they step onto the guys for the Junior A team that they should be playing all the time. But these kids didn't. These kids worked and, and worked on getting their games better and proving that they had to be in there. It's, it's important that they they come into the season and you know show like the younger guys and from from the beginning of the season to the end of the season make sure that they're consistent and uh, bring their game in, uh, night in night out bringing a positive attitude to the rink every day and guiding us not really like tearing us down but more helping us adjust to the speed and the league and whatnot more leadership personally and uh, maybe bring it next year uh, and teach uh, our uh, rookies next year some of the things that I learned from Tanner